Hello friends, let us now learn about the type 4 glycogen storage disorder which is called as amylopectinosis or we can call it as Anderson disease. So this amylopectinosis or Anderson disease is actually an autosomal recessive disorder. Here the defect is in branching enzyme. Here, because here the defect is in branching enzyme, there is also accumulation of abnormal glycogen. This abnormal glycogen will resemble the amylopectin and that is the reason why we call it as amylopectinosis. So if you see the clinical features, mainly you see in the liver, you see that the baby presents with cirrhosis in liver, especially in the first month of life. And you will also see presence of splenomegaly is seen in these patients. Okay, then this cirrhosis will progress to portal hypertension, which will uh, manifest as ascites, esophageal varices, and finally it can cause liver failure. And this liver failure is the most common cause of the death in the patients with Anderson disease, especially by 5 years of age. So if you diagnose the patient, you will have to do tissue deposition of amylopectin-like material should be done. You should do tissue deposition like amylopectin, amylopectin-like material is seen and that is demonstrated in the liver and in the heart and muscle, skin, small intestine, in the brain. You can demonstrate it. You can also demonstrate in spinal cord and the peripheral muscles, peripheral nerve. So you can also do electron microscopy. On electron microscopy, you will see accumulation of fibrillar aggregates which are actually typical of amylopectin. Okay, and this disease, amylopectinosis, most important is for this disease, prenatal diagnosis can be done for this amylopectinosis. And this prenatal diagnosis is done by measuring the enzyme activity in cultured amniocytes. So in this patient, we can do prenatal diagnosis of this disease, amylopectinosis. Thank you guys for watching my lecture. Thank you.